Hi all, welcome back to MATLAB tutorial on Tube Fulcrum. This session is on the anonymous functions in MATLAB. An anonymous function is like an inline function in traditional programming languages defined with a single MATLAB statement. It consists of a single MATLAB expression and any number of input and output arguments. So let's take an example and understand this. Let's say we are going to write or create an anonymous function that is computing the square of a number. So at first you need to specify your function name. So let's name it as compute square. Let this be our function name equal to now use at the rate this simple specifies that it's an anonymous function that you're going to create after this if your function takes any arguments you can specify the same within the parenthesis here let's say our function is going to work with an argument and let us call this as a now after failing the input arguments you can write the expression that your function is going to perform so here as per our requirement it's going to compute the square of a so how do you write that a dot power of 2 so this is an anonymous function that is going to compute the square of a number you can define an anonymous function right at the MATLAB command line or within a function or script so this anonymous functions helps you to create simple functions without having to create a file for them we have seen in our previous sessions how do we create a function file so that's not required for an anonymous function so now let's see how we are going to invoke this anonymous function so that is same how you do with the normal functions by using the function name and the arguments if the function is taking any. So in our case, the function name is compute square. And it takes one argument. So when you invoke also, you have to pass an argument. So I'm passing two here. So two will be received with a. So this function will compute the square of two. Let's evaluate and check our output. So as expected, our output is 4 here. Once we evaluate, you could see the answer is 4 because we have passed the argument as 2. So it is computing the square of 2. We'll check with one more entity. We'll pass a different argument. So let's say we are going to pass 4. So now if you compute... Your answer should be 16 because it is computing the square of 4. So this is how you work with anonymous functions in MATLAB. So remember the anonymous function will consist of only a single MATLAB expression and it could take any number of input and output arguments. You cannot have multiple lines here unlike the normal MATLAB functions. So this is about the anonymous functions in MATLAB. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, share, comment and subscribe. And please don't forget to tap the bell icon. You'll get notified whenever we upload a new videos. Thank you.